Welcome back to Sal and Pals Go to the Movies. This is a throwback Thursday episode and I'm here with my friend Tuli. Say hi Tuli. Hi everyone, how's it going? And for this episode we're going to be reviewing Rounders. But just a fair warning, there's going to be spoilers up ahead so you've been warned. Rounders is about a young reformed gambler who must return to playing big stakes poker to help a friend play off a loan shark while balancing his relationship with his girlfriend and his commitments to law school. I've seen other poker movies. The three words that can sum this movie up is poker, mafia, and law student. So uh, with that, I'm going to ask you for your opinion, Tuli. Yeah, so Rounder was the first movie that I saw that had uh, Edward Norton in it. So yeah, this is how I came to know who Edward Norton is as a, an actor. Uh, of course, you mentioned the main protagonist of this film and it's being played by Matt Damon. And then uh, in addition to these two characters, uh, there were a couple other characters that really stood out to me uh, in terms of the, the, the characters that these actors or actresses were playing. And that includes John Makovich, who played Teddy KBG, and also Fomke Jansen, who was actually uh, Jean from the X-Men movies. So, and I think she played uh, Petra in the movie Rounders. Yeah, so yeah, those were like some of the actors and actresses that really stood out in terms of like the characters that uh, they played in this movie. Same thing with me. I can name some other names that uh, appeared in this movie. Uh, there was this guy, Kanish. Uh, the actor is John Tuturo. I remember him from another movie with uh, Spike Lee, uh, Do the Right Thing, when he played a guy who was based, actually, the Kanish character was actually based on an underground poker player. And uh, I think it's based off the character who his real name is Joe Bagels Rosenberg. Just having little trivia like that related to some characters here and this guy like he's really famous uh, i think most of the people nowadays remember know him from the transformer movies uh in, where he plays a comical character but other people who were in this movie especially the teacher who was a teacher for matt damon's character his name is uh petrosky he's martin lando he's more known for his role in ed wood as playing bella lugosi these people to me stood out in this film Actually, more than, I would say, the poker games that <laughs> so stood out. So um, that's another thing I'm going to complain about, but a little further up ahead. Uh, Tuli, so tell me, how did you see this movie? Did you enjoy it? What did you like about it? What didn't you like? I can say I, I liked the movie. Uh, I wouldn't say, you know, it, it's like one of my uh, all-time favorites. Not It doesn't fall into that realm. But at the same time, if I were to compare it to like a film, you know, films that we have talked about on this podcast where I say, you know, it's one of those films where I wouldn't watch it over again or, you know, it was good, but it wasn't anything special about it. Uh, this movie to me, I would say it was a little better than those type of movies, but definitely not in like well, echelon of movies like, you know, Marvel's or some of the DC movies or movies that, you know, had that special thing or quality about it but i would still say i enjoyed it overall for reasons like some of the characters that were in this uh movie that were again being portrayed by some of these actors that are, are quite famous now but uh for example i would say edward norton his character as worm he did a really great job of portraying this character that you just love to hate and yes. i think we talk about it when we when we are able to react to characters like this in such a fashion that, you know, we, we just despise these characters for the way they behave and stuff like that, then that actor has done a great job at performing their role. So uh, kudos to uh, Edward Norton, again, for this being my first movie of, you know, seeing how Edward Norton acts and stuff like that. I think that it was a really, really good first impression that uh, he had on me. And then also I mentioned uh, Teddy KBG, uh, again, who was played by John uh, Malkovich, uh, his character as the Russian mobster who runs the underground poker room. Just the lines that he said. It was comical at, at the same time. You know, he was being serious, trying to, you know, to toy with the players that, you know, he would face. Uh, particularly, of course, the character that Matt Damon played. Because uh, they faced off a couple of times in this film. And the way John's character, you know, would react to Matt Damon's character... To me, I just found it hilarious, just some of the lines that were being said. In terms of, like, the plot, I wouldn't say it, it, it's anything special. It's pretty uh, it's pretty straightforward. You already mentioned uh, at the beginning, like, you summarized it about, you know, here Matt Damon is playing the character who initially was a poker player, had dreams of making it to, like, the World Series of Poker in Las Vegas, but he ended up losing all his money to Teddy KBG 
And because of this, he decided to quit, promised his girlfriend that he wouldn't play anymore, and decided to go back to law school. But when one of his childhood friends uh, was released from prison, a.k.a. Worm, who again was being played by Edward Norton, Matt Damon's character, uh, Mike, found out that you know his childhood friend still owed... Uh, the Russian mobster some money. So because of this, he's trying to help him escape this situation by going back into poker, trying to get some winnings to pay off the debt. But one thing led to another and they ended up having to pay more because of screw ups. And eventually it got to a point where Worm wanted to um, just run away from the situation. But Mike, again, Matt Damon's character wanted to see the situation through and eventually overcame it by facing Teddy KBG in one final showdown and ended up winning and because of this he is encouraged to finally set off to Las Vegas and enter the world series of poker and that's how the movie ends so again the, the plot is pretty straightforward not too not too special and that's why I would say it's not like over the top it's not like I would say it's a classic or anything but to me it made an impact because when I saw the movie it was around the time when poker was really really hot for my generation because it kind of correlated with how I was learning poker at the time I think it made the movie seem better than maybe what it might have been if I were to just watch and not be into poker at the time even then uh, I would say it, it's watchable but more watchable than again those type of movies that we say it's good but there's nothing special about it this one I would say I could just relate it, relate to it a bit more just due to the actors that are in this film and a few of the characters that really stood out to me that's where this movie kind of made an impact on me yeah you're totally right about that because I mean uh, this movie it doesn't stand out to me but I know a lot of professional poker players credit this movie for actually inspiring them to get into playing poker and from that they've been you know world champions so what I really wanted more was more of the poker playing element yeah I know a lot of people say well they didn't include the you know the long hours of playing poker because Matt Damon does say you know I'm going to be here come back for me within eight hours and that is a short set of time span for a game if you think about it so he's actually in that sense a lot of people are like oh eight hours that's a long time no in poker terms that's actually a short game uh you you sit and you don't always play all your hands you keep folding keep folding until you get the right hand that you feel comfortable with but we didn't see that we didn't see matt damon fold a lot of times we only saw him fold once twice and then he gets the two aces or he gets an uh, 10 jack or or something a good card that he would feel comfortable playing in a sense i would like to see him fold more and get under pressure have that you know actual pressure built up until he actually sees a, a good card i mean a poker player's Love this movie. They think it actually portrays the tension and the feel for poker. And it does. It's underground poker. So in a sense, you're playing for a lot of money that you can lose in one second. Uh, so this movie, to me, in a sense, stood out in some sense. Like you said, um, I also was learning poker. Uh, talking about John Malkovich, KGB. Uh, <laughs> the funny thing about him was every time he said anything, he took it too far in a way he was chewing the scenery. But in a sense, he brought it around and made it great again. Like some characters go off tangent or, or make it too elaborate. And the scene is like just crazy. They go off their acting skills. Right. And but John Malkovich does it in a way that he brings it all the way around. And you're like, hey, OK, I, I can live with that. He actually did a good job or he made me laugh. The other thing is that in this movie, it was filmed in 1998. In that year, Matt Damon and Edward Norton actually participated in the World Championship of Poker. Mind you, that did get eliminated, but it was, I guess, a publicity stunt for them to, you know, talk about rounders that was coming out. Uh, in that sense, it all comes wrapped around in one sense. Like, um, we do see Johnny Chan, one of the World Championship of Poker winners who actually has won 10 times, but only won two games in a row, which is 1987 and 1988. Uh, a small trivia is that Jerry Buss, the owner of the Lakers, promised him an NBA championship ring if he won three games in a row. And I heard that that deal still stands. I'm not really sure. It's probably uh, rumors out there, but he does win three. He's going to get a ring. <laughs> but uh, so, yeah, this movie, uh, I guess I'd enjoyed it to a certain degree. I enjoyed more of the acting with Edward Norton, John Malkovich. Matt Damon did not really convince me with his acting. You know, it's basically the, that kind of 2D character that you just see and like it's too plain but I really wanted to see more of him thinking and 
like his himself thinking and look shifting his eyes calculating and doing everything it to me it seems like he was just trying to play a uh, genius you know and say like i know everything you know by looking at the cards and everything but i want to see more of that process you know him thinking pondering what the opponent has that would have been a little interesting kind of thing you know they do show some of the scenes from the world series of poker but not enough that got, kind of gets you interested. So with that said, let's give it our final grade. Tuli, what did you give this movie? I would give it somewhere between the score of a 6.5 to a 7 out of 10. Again, movies that I tend to enjoy but would characterize it as, you know, it's good but it doesn't have that extra kick to it that would make it better. I would normally give those scores around the 5 to 6 range. But because this movie had actors who gave performances that I enjoyed that's why i bumped it up to like the 6.5 to 7.0 range so that it would be consistent with you know a grade that i would get that i would normally give to movies that i would just say it's it's okay yeah so yeah that's kind of where it falls around a 6.5 to a 7 i would have to agree totally with you i mean this is the kind of movie that poker plays a second seed to i i kind of enjoyed the acting between edward norton uh john malkovich and all the other characters or especially seeing other people in this movie that I remember from other movies. Yeah, so I give it the same grade, six and a half out of 10. So that wraps up our review for Rounders. Join us next time when we review the Shawshank Redemption. Social media is down in the description. Hit us up if you have any questions. And remember, keep watching movies.